Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here and in this video we're going to be discussing about how to alleviate multicollinearity in a polynomial regression model by using mean centering method. Recall multicollinearity is a situation where we have a high degree of linear relationship among the IVs in the model and this could result in uh, coefficients on the slope parameters which appear to be insignificant when actually they should be significant. Now there are many ways to deal with multicollinearity. The mean centering is one such method and the mean centering method works well when we have a polynomial regression model. That is one in which the, we have powers of the IV to terms involving powers of the IV. So in this example we've got as a DV earnings and we've got earnings at salary and IVs we've got years of working experience and we've got experience squared. Okay, uh, So these are the two IVs in this model. Uh, if we regress earnings on experience and experience squared that's a polynomial regression because we have a a power term on one of the, uh, on the IV would be a squared term. In this case, then we would expect there to be both correlation because these two are related. Um, now, let's fit the regression first. Dependent variable earnings, experience, experience squared is IVs, and we look for the collinearity statistics. Okay. We go down to the table that says coefficients. Here we go. Now the VIF measure. Recall we, that the VIF is telling us that multicollinearity is a big problem if the number here is exceeds ten. So here two hundred and nine they're massive, so there is a problem. If also if we look in addition, if we look at the T statistics for these two IVs, coefficients on the IVs, we find they're both insignificant. But then that's one of the co one of the uh, symptoms of uh, multiple of uh, multiple narrative. Right now, if we look at the correlation, we will see what the problem is. So experience, experience squared. We want the Pearson's correlation between experience and experience squared is very close to 1.998 and it's significant. Okay, that's why we've got this problem of multicollinearity in this model. Okay, well, since it's a polynomial regression, one way to to alleviate multicollinearity is to use mean centering. Now, by mean centering, what we do is we take the IV and we subtract off it the mean. Now, for the experience, we need to find out what the mean is. So if we go to descriptive stats, let's say descriptive experience options, let's just pick out the mean, right, get rid of it, and tick everything else. The mean is about 19.47, 19.47. So what we want to do next is we want to compute a new variable. Let's call it CX, but for centered um, percentage experience and what we want to do is that experience minus and then the mean which we found to be 19.47 thereabouts 19.47 okay now we've got a new column and what we want to do is we want to create the experience squared as well, but we want to do it with the transformed, the mean transform one. So in other words, I am going to take centered experience and square that to get the centered experience squared. I am not taking the experience squared and subtracting the mean of this column. All right, two different things. So transform, let's call the new variable CX square and it is made up of CX is made up of CX all squared like 
so, so uh, I've got two new columns. What I want to do now is regress earnings on s on the centered experience and the centered experience squared. Or the squared of centered experience. Yeah. Analyze. Regression. Linear. Take these two out and replace them by the centered versions. Like so. so. We still have the that was a mistake, sorry. We should still have the collinear statistics there to show you that the problem has been reduced or if not eliminated. So here's the output. Fantastic. Right, if we look at this, you can see now that the coefficients table, that for the centered versions of the IVs, the VIF is now way below 10. In fact, it's about 1.3, so it's no longer an issue. Okay. If we look at the correlation of the centered versions of the IVs, we should find that they've been reduced as well. Yes, look, it's gone way down to about 0.5-ish, point, minus 0.485. In other words, what this mean centering has done is it has reduced the correlation. It's also changed the sign of the thing, hasn't it? Right. Last thing to so for polynomial regression, we can reduce multicollinearity or alleviate it by using the mean centering. Now, this mean centering does it always work for any kind of regression model? It tends to work best for polynomial regression. If you try it, the cases where it's not polynomial regression, you find that it works doesn't work that well, if at all. Okay, uh, but uh, there are people who just uh, use it whenever they see multicollinearity. Um, so what we know is that we shouldn't do that. We should just it works best for polynomial regression, um, and. Uh, and for if it's not polynomial regression, we should look at other things. Finally, to finish off with, these coefficients now have a slightly different meaning. Okay, the to usual one unit increase in next leads to a blah blah unit increase in y holding everything else fixed. Um, the constant here, 22.7, that will be the predicted earnings when the experience for that particular person is equal to the to the mean value of 19.47 the interpretation of the coefficient on the uh, centered experience of 0.944 would be if the person is earning if a person's work, work experience is around the mean of 19.47, then for an additional year of work experience, that person can expect the, the, the uh, earnings to increase by 0.944 units, whatever those units are of measurement of earnings. Okay, so the only holding everything else fixed. So the only difference here is that we're not saying one unit increase in X leads to blah blah blah, we're saying one unit increase in the x if that x is close to the mean. All right. For the square term here, a minus sign means that we've got diminishing returns on earnings. In other words, for an additional year of experience, uh, the rate of uh, the rate of um, increase on the uh, earnings slows down. Okay, so that is mean centering for to deal with multicollinearity in a polynomial regression model. Fantastic. Let's finish there.